Is my cavum normal? I think I'm gonna rip some hair out though. Oh. Oh. Oh, right. look at that. That pink squiggly thing? That's a mold of my middle ear. Before I tell you why I'm holding my ear, let's get one thing straight. None of this would be happening if it weren't for Neil Armstrong. Back in the 1960s, Plantronics got its start building headsets for pilots. They even built the first headset worn on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. By the 1990s, they were building headsets for you and me. Which brings me to my ear. In the last 15 years, Plantronics has taken more than a thousand casts of different ears. After measurements have been taken, designers use the raw data to build prototypes that will fit the most number of ears. And sometimes, they even keep these molds at their desks. Now, collecting ear data sounds simple, but making an accurate mold is pretty challenging, especially if you're the one getting silicone pumped into your ear canal. So I'm going to put a little cotton block down into your ear canal, just a, a few millimeters down. And what this will do is protect your eardrum. It'll keep the material from going too deep in the ear. What? <laughs> so one thing I didn't even think of, but it seems very obvious, is that I can't actually hear anything right now. That's, you'll have to hear through the other ear, which I have to talk a little louder for you to be able to hear. Yeah, now you, you got to pillow talk this. Yeah, that's his pillow talk. <laughs> So, what are the most important points of data that you pull from the ear? We might consider, for example, the ear length, the ear width, um, where you fit the earbud, the area where you fit earbuds normally, like your iPod earbuds. There's a specific area there that we know very well, the geometry and the sizes. Will they actually come in here and take headsets that they're building and prototypes and put them into the ears and, mm -hmm. and do those basics kind of tests? Yeah, if you go visit our design center, you'll see that there are many ear molds at the designer's desk. Um, generally a small, a medium, and a large, so that they can make sure that their design accommodates all of the population. Would it be safe to say that ears are a lot like fingerprints? I'd say no two ears are alike, yeah. Like snowflakes and fingerprints, yeah. Just when I was starting to wonder whether putting all that goo in my ear was worth it, my ear actually arrived in the mail. And it turns out my beautiful cavum is actually pretty average, which means that Plantronics designers are going to be stuffing a whole lot of prototypes in this ear. Oh, that's a weird sound. Oh, and I almost forgot the best part. I can finally lick the inside of my own ear. Don't, 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 don't,